So just come to standing and really uh, bring some attention to our uh, posture. And as always, reminding ourselves to lift the pelvic floor and really bring the um, pelvic bones together in the front to have a nice, strong abdominal core. And to get going, we'll start kind of swimming forward. Deep breaths. And now we'll go backwards. Reminding you, I have a right shoulder cuff injury, so I'll be doing less on the right side. So keep going with both arms. I'm just doing one arm. Okay, and then let's kind of punch across. And we can tap out to the side and reach across. Try to stretch out the muscles at the back of the shoulders. And up, up. And down and across. And across the middle. And up. And hands on their hips and march in place as high as possible, kind of a slow march. Get the hips lined up. Out and just squat, kind of looking go side to side with a little squat in there. Okay, and now uh, tap back and bring your shoulders back. your shoulders, put your hands out to your side, turn your thumbs up towards the ceiling, and then reach back behind you just as far as is comfortable, and your shoulders, your arms are at shoulder height and not above. And reach, 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 and then with your hands out to the side, reach your fingers towards the ceiling, and then towards the floor and towards the ceiling and towards the floor. One more time towards the ceiling, towards the floor. And then bring your hands together, rotate your wrists one direction. And then the other direction. Okay, and shake them out and find something steady. We're going to rotate one angle counterclockwise or clockwise. And we'll reverse directions. And reverse directions. And switch, switch angles. Rotate. 
one direction and then the other. Okay, good. So we'll get going on our shoulders and these are the all pro weights. So if you have wrist weights or dumbbells or water bottles, you can um, use those. I'm not going to use a wrist weight on my right arm because I've got rotator cuff issues going on. So, but you know, even um, if we're doing it without weights, doing something slowly, consciously, and under control is um, you get a huge benefit from it. I'd say 90 to 100% of the benefit. Okay. So, uh, front, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, good. And now, as if you're leaning up and over a rod, you can now lie your um, chest or your torso along your thighs, and we're going to come out like we're flying. One, two, look just beyond your toes, so the back of your neck is long. Four, squeeze at the top, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Okay, come back up. We'll do our anterior and medial delt again. So this is uh, being recorded. It will be available on a link from the senior center that Molly will send out. Two. Three, and you're not recorded, it's just recording me. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and now the posterior deltoid again. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Squeeze at the top, last one. Okay, good job. Now we're going to do our biceps. So on that one, I'm going to be able to pick up both weights and um, just elbows velcro by your side. So one, two, three, four. As you're doing this, I'm going to remind you five. Activate the pelvic floor. Six, shoulders dropped and long. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now we're going to do our shoulders. So put the hands, the palms facing your shoulders. And we'll reach up one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. Now we'll go back to uh, bicep curls. So one, two, three, nice and controlled. Four, slow lowering. Five, six, exhale on the lift. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job. The last of our shoulder press up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, good job. So um, now we want to do our um, triceps, but we'll do uh, yeah, our triceps next. So, and row. So if you, I'm going to put a couple blocks on here, which you can do it either way. So you have the, your elbow right at your waist. And then go from 90 degrees to a straight arm, and um, it's the shoulder isn't involved, so the shoulder's not coming up. It's all just movement of the elbow. So we'll start with one, two, good, three, four. Now pay attention to your core. Five, make sure it's active. Six. Seven, long front spine, nine, and ten. Good. Now we're going to do the row. So you can let your arm hang down a bit and come up and one. And then feel the muscles across your back working. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, and now we'll switch sides. And bring the, the elbow to your side so that the, uh, your elbow goes from 90 degrees to straight. So it's one, triceps, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then we're going to, I'm going to grab the second weight to do the row. And so you can let it hang down, stretch out your arm a bit. And one, feel that squeeze across the back. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Let's go back to the first sign and now add on a little more attention to um, the core. So as you come forward, have an uh, active, bring the sides of the belly up and the abdomen up towards your spine, your belly. Up. Spine and first the triceps, the long front spine. One, two, three, four, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And now for the row. Exhale one, two. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Now, back around. Make sure your core is nice and strong. And we'll start with the tricep. Last side, last step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one, good squeeze, ten. And the row. So come up and behind. Feel it across your back. Two, three. Nice long front spine. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Step up slowly. And now let's grab a quick drink of water and we're going to do our chair stands and then our abdominals. So it's a good time to get a drink of water. Hmm. I'm going to make sure everybody's muted. I think there might have been a little. So, with the chair stand, your feet are in alignment with your knees. Make sure your knees don't fall together or fall apart. And the, uh, you can either use your hands to push off, put your hands on your knees, and if you want a little harder, hands across your chest. So you can work at the level that's best for you. This is really getting the glutes. So as you come to full stance, make sure you're lifting your pelvic floor, bringing the muscles together in the front, like it's a strong strap around your pelvis. And um, squeeze your glutes when you get up as if you got a $100 bill there that you're hanging on to. Okay, so we'll do 10 of these. Exhale on the rise. One, two, three, with control. Looking good. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, good job. Okay, now we're going to do abdominals. So I'll just uh, give my, uh, turn my chair a bit so you can see me. You can cross your arms across your chest and have your pelvis slid forward so you're kind of on a slant. If you want to lie down on the floor and do this, you can do it uh, lying down on the floor. So if you're on the floor, you don't come up to a full sit up and just curl up. We're gonna exhale, curl forward, bring the 
Belly button back towards the spine. The abdominal is very active. Exhale. And then come back. Two. Getting the rectus abdominis. Three. Four. Nice active abdominals. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then sit up tall and place the outside of your right foot on your left knee. And you'll have a lean back on your chair. Elbows out wide, but don't pull on your neck and bring the left elbow across to the right knee. One, two, three. Exhale on coming forward. Five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Sit up nice and tall, and then switch so that the ankle of your left foot is on the right knee. And if that's difficult, you can actually have your leg out straighter so the knee's not so high. Whatever works for you. And we'll come across, so leaning back, take your right elbow to your left knee. One, getting the obliques. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine and ten. Okay, good job. And set that back down. And now we're going to do a chair stands again. Another ten chair stands. So inhale, um, exhale on the rise. So inhale, exhale. One, two. Nice and tight. Four, three, four. Squeeze at the top. Five, six, seven. Make sure the knees don't fall together. Eight, nine. Press out through your heels. Ten. And you did it. Great. Now we'll get a second set of abdominals. And leaning back. Cross your arm across the front or whatever works for you. And exhale. Curl. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, good. Sing up nice and tall. Bring the right ankle over onto the left knee. And while we're here, we're just going to stay here for a second and let that stretch out. Uh, we put a lot of action on our hips. You can actually even take your hand and rotate that thigh so that the inner thigh is rotating out to the outer thigh. And that helps to stretch the hip flexors. Come forward just a bit. 
And you can feel that with a nice long spine. Can put stretches anywhere in strength training. Okay, gives you a nice rest. So let's go ahead and uh, do our obliques for the left elbow to the right knee. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job. So nice and tall. One more time, give a stretch forward of that hip, then we'll switch over to the other hips. Okay, and then that one down, bring the outer right ankle, left ankle onto the right knee, and take your hands and just externally rotate that thigh a bit. Come up on your sits bone so you're sitting nice and tall, and you can actually come forward just to the comfort level. So some people can probably flop really forward. I have to stop there because I have tight hip rotators, but this is a good way to kind of loosen them up a little bit. Okay, let's get the other set of obliques. So you'll bring right arm to the left knee and what? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Okay, now let's get one more little stretch in along these hips. And this is something you can do anytime you can think about it and decide you want to be a little uncomfortable. Like watching TV or anything else. And then put that down. And what I'm going to say next is to stretch out the back a little bit. So lie down over your thighs, your chest long, and you can Stretch the back of the shoulders, back of the neck, and your low back before we go to doing the lower body. A couple inhales and exhale. Okay, so while we're here, let's put on, the, if you have the leg weights, put on the leg weights. Because we have to go to our quads. So these all pro weights have half uh, pound pellets in them. So it can be from half pound to five pounds on a, a one weight. So a pair is 10. And we can take a drink of water if you don't have to do all this spilling around, but I do. It's a good time for that because and then I sit up on some blocks to make sure that my foot clears the floor. So we work the three muscles in the arms and the rotators, the, the core and the front and back. Now we're going to work on the legs, front, back, and sides. Okay? So sitting nice and tall, we're going to do the quadriceps. Chest open, uh, lift the pelvic floor, bring the pelvic bones together in the front. And I'm starting with you know, start your left leg, whichever leg you want, and straight out and squeeze. And down, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. Exhale on the straight, nine and 10. Good job. And other leg, so lift and straight, one, two, three, four, five, six, flex your toe, press out through the heel, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job, sit up nice and tall. Take a deep breath in, inhale, exhale, let's go back to side one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. One more side and the one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, good job. So now we'll stand, go around behind your chair, and we're going to work on the um, hamstrings. So, standing nice and tall, remind yourself of all those cues to activate the core. Make sure that pelvic floor is strong. Step back with one leg. The knee stays behind the stance leg. Plug the hip into the stance leg and keep a nice long spine from pubic bone to the, uh, the sternum and lift the heel towards your buttocks. Two, exhale, keep the knee back. Three, four, we're working the hamstring. Five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Nice and controlled. Set back the other foot. And one, two. Think about the abdominals coming in on the sides for the hip bones. Four, five. Six, squeeze at the top. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Okay, shake them out side to side and step back with the first side and the one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and squeeze. And the other side, step back and lift. Two, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Okay, and now we got the hamstrings work on the hip flexors. So bringing your leg up, your knee up so your thigh is parallel to the floor. 
we'll lift uh, 10 times. One, two, put the other side in. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job. And the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Standing tall. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Rock it out in the hips. Okay, um, I'm going to come back. I'm going to intersperse the thigh first so that it gives us a little break there. So, standing nice and tall, one hand alongside the chair, and we're going to just bring the foot out with the toe pointed forward or slightly in and pressing that kind of through the heel. Doesn't have to be very high, but we're getting the side hip muscles, the abductors. So one, two, three, four, five, both sides are working, you can feel it. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, okay. And switch the other side. Okay, toe slightly forward uh, or forward or slightly in. Plug this hip in as you stand nice and tall. And one, two, good control. Three, four, five, six, these are good balance muscles, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And good walking muscles. So next we're gonna do the hip flexors and then we'll go back and do that. So standing nice and tall, pelvic core strong, and one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. And switch sides. Nice. Check your posture and one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, before we go back and do our hip abductors, I'm just going to say squat down a little bit and give your, it's a little bit of a squat, but it gives your hip muscles a little bit of a break. I'll do two or three of those. Okay, and one more. Good. Now standing nice and tall, strong pelvic floor and core, and foot pointed straight forward and out to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. So I'm looking at myself in the zoom. I'm trying to see how straight I can stand and not lean away from my leg. So you can kind of keep that as a mental note to see how straight you can stand and not lean towards away from the leg. One, two. Three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job, okay? Now we're going to do the um, glute straight leg back. So again, try to not move forward on each one, but to hold a real steady waist up. So step back with one foot. This one, the leg is straight instead of the knee bending. And lift to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. And switch legs. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Okay, let's do our calves to give those muscles a rest. So standing and touch lightly and try to come straight up. One, two, kind of press up through your heels and lift your toes on the rock back. Three, four, gets a little bit of the dorsiflexors. Five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Okay, and then step back one leg and we'll lift with the straight leg. Two, three, four, five, six. Check that core. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Okay, step back with the other foot. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. And now we're going to do um, our calves again. This time we're going to plie a little bit so we won't get a little bit back on our heels, but can nice strong core and rely on the chair as little as possible as you come up and down. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Good. Okay. Step back. Oh, I'm going to take off my weights. We're done with the weights. And then we're going to stretch out our ankles. And grab the water, just a good time with water. Okay, step back with one foot. And the other foot. Uh, Get, reach forward with a good stride length and use the chair for balance and pressing out through the back heel and the back leg is straight. You can scooch forward and bend that front knee just as much as you want to have a good stretch in the back half and a good stretch through the front of the hip that we worked on the hip flexors. So think about Lifting that pelvic um, bone here 
Tuck your tailbone just a bit. As you reach high with your sternum, and you get a good stretch here and a good stretch in the back calf. Just as much as you bend that front leg gives you that stretch. Inhale and exhale. Then on the one with the straight leg back, reach up with that arm, reach high, get thumb towards the back, and reach, 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 reach. Get a nice stretch on that side of the body. See how close to the ceiling you can come with your fingers without jumping. Okay, and you bring your arm back down, your feet closer together, balance your weight between both feet and just come down the elevator, bend both knees. And so that you and put your weight a little bit more in the back heel. So that back heel stays on the floor and you're bending the back leg and you're stretching another muscle in your calf. Okay, come up. Now switch legs. So nice long stride and um, lift through the front of the pelvis, tuck the tailbone just a bit. As you press out through the back heel, back leg straight, and bring the front knee forward as far as is comfortable to get a stretch in the front of the hip and in the calf. And then take that arm up and with the thumb toward, pointing towards the back, reach, reach, reach. And if it's comfortable, you can look up. You can have the hand on the chair, make sure your balance is good. Nice stretch in that side of the body. And down. And then come together, step closer together, balance the weight between your two feet, and then bend both knees, bring the weight, sit back over the back heel a bit more, put that heel on the floor, stretch in the back half as well. And come up. Sit down on your chair, stretch the hamstring. We gave him a good workout from the top and the bottom of the hamstring. So, with one leg sitting close to the edge of your chair, so your sits bones are caught by the chair, but your leg is off the chair. Reach up and over as if you're coming over a rod. Long front spine. This elbow can rest on your bent knee. And the other leg is straight. And then reach down that leg just as far as possible. Be careful not to put weight on the back of, on the top of the knee, on the straight knee. It's, it doesn't receive any pressure there. And then, and your toe pointing towards the ceiling, if you can. Reach down and grab your toe, lay your chest on your other thigh. That'll give you a good stretch. Then look just beyond your toe a little bit so you have a long back neck. Inhale, exhale, enjoy the stretch. If it's not enjoyable, back off a little bit. Okay, it doesn't need to be um, painful for sure. And then kind of walk yourself up. And bend that leg, straighten the other leg with the front of your chair, nice and tall. Lean forward over that leg. Notice if you have side to side differences. It's always instructive. And this arm can be resting on this knee, 
or if you're comfortable with it, you can lean forward and grasp your toe that's pointing towards the ceiling and press out through the heel of your straight leg. Long back neck. Coming up, long front spine, come on up, and um, we kind of stretch the front of this pelvis before, so I'm not going to do the one on the side of the chair. Let's bring our arms up and get our shoulders. So bringing your elbows together, if that's comfortable, or crossing them, uh, if you are going to cross them, make sure you remember which arm goes under so you change it on the other one. And then regardless of which position you have, bring your elbows up and press them out as you stretch across the back. Take a deep breath in to your upper shoulder area and then exhale. Let's do three of those deep breaths in across the shoulders and exhale, pressing out through the elbows away from your front body. Just one more breath. And then unwind your arms and come down. Okay and cross them the other way, or bring them together, whichever, pressing out forward. Now we're gonna add one little thing here. Take your um, ear and drop it to the shoulder on your left side. And stretch out the right side of the neck. Just looking straight ahead. Come up to center and then drop the ear down to the other side. Looking straight ahead. A couple more deep breaths into the back body as your head's up straight. And unwind. Good. Shake your arms out a bit. And then with your left hand, come up and drop your elbow or your hand down to your shoulder. And with the other hand, bring your elbow up towards the ceiling. Get a nice stretch. Feel yourself pressing down to the sits bone on that same side as you. Bring the elbow up towards the ceiling. Open up the front chest area. Get a nice stretch between the ribs. Nice long waist. And then back up and down. So the other side, bring the hand up. Bring the elbow towards the ceiling and draw the hand back to where it's touching your shoulder or behind you. And then with the other hand, gently bring that arm up, the elbow up towards the ceiling. Press down with the six bones as you press up with the elbow. Deep breath in, getting space between each rib. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. This is always a good one to be sitting down. It protects your back. Okay, and then back. Sitting up nice and tall in your chair, creating some space between each vertebrae. Uh, bring the left hand around behind. 
and the right hand over to the left knee. And just first turn just a bit so you get a little turn and you're feeling it mainly between the pelvis and the waist. And then you take an inhalation and on the exhalation, go ahead and move that twist to the middle spine up through the thoracic region. Inhale, exhale, and bring your shoulders around, look around over your uh, left shoulder and turn your neck and your eyes. See how far behind you you can see. Getting a nice long twist, sternum lifting. Inhale, exhale, and just turn a bit more. And then sitting nice and tall, unwind, come back to center. We establish that height and bring the left hand over to the right knee and the right arm around behind. Get a little twist in the pelvic low back reach into the waist. Inhale on this exhalation, bring it into the thoracic and middle spine. Inhale, exhale up through the shoulders and the neck area. Look over the right shoulder. Inhale, exhale. Good twist. Lift the sternum, keeping it lifted. And then back to center. Okay, good. So we're going to reach forward and um, stretch out across the low back. You can grab onto your um, feet and just stretch out the shoulders and along the low back and the upper back area. Let the head fall down so the back neck is long. Okay, we'll come up, let's take three deep breaths. Inhale, exhale, squeeze all the air out. Inhale, exhale, get rid of any old air. Inhale, really empty your lungs on this last one. Okay, thank you all very much. Have a wonderful weekend today, and I hope we see you next Tuesday. Bye-bye.